Ladies and gentlemen. Previously, we talked about NPCs that need to become playable character in Arknights. If you haven't yet watched them, then go watch them first. There are so many interesting NPC in Arknights story. That deserve to become playable character. Either because of their story, power, or even looks. Some of them even already becoming Rhodes Island operator in the story. But why not in the actual game? Oh wait, not these guys. That's probably because you don't have them. I mean, this guys. So, in today's video of Basis of Sinatiology, we will take a look on NPCs that need to become playable character in Arknights, Part 3. Simon, codenames and Tala, is an NPC that appear in Operational Intelligence event. She appear in Magallan's archive. It is mentioned that Santala was visiting the Northlands, to find a certain individual. Let's just say this Northlands is an Arctic in the Arknights world. That's definitely not a suitable place for someone to live. But then there's Magallan. She was doing some research at the Northlands. She live in one of the outposts of that place. And live alone there for months. But then one day, she spotted another person. That person is Santala. She was wandering around the Northlands looking for an individual. In the middle of a snowstorm, without any proper equipment. Even someone like Magallan still need additional equipment to survive the Northlands. So Santala must have a unique arts. It was then revealed, the individual that Santala was looking for is actually Magallan. She was there to retrieve Magallan personally. It was so sudden, because the messenger can't contact Magallan in advance. Now, the reason why Santala need to become a playable character is because she is an official and legit Rhodes Island operator, law-wise. Beside, there's actually another NPC in this event that have become playable character. Codename Heather Rain. So if Heather Rain can become playable, why not her? Because of how she can withstand the snowstorm in that story. I guess that she is a very powerful character. Her ability is almost the same like Frost Nova. Although it might be a little exaggerated, but nonetheless she will be interesting to have. We still don't have any operator that can inflict cold or freeze effect to the enemy. So it might be a good chance for Hypergriff to introduce one with this character. And if they do, a supporter class like Pramonex and Shammer will do the trick. Also, there's still no 6 star version for this class tray. So it might be good to have her as a 6 star operator. Linusia is an NPC that appear in Chapter 6 and some side story like Code of Brawl and Ancient Forge. She is the daughter of Rat King and his successor in the future. Yuja is also a friend of Swire and Chen. But after Swire and Chen decided to go abroad to study, their relationship have now strained. As the daughter and successor of the Rat King, it is also her duty to protect Lungman. So when the situation at Lungman got nasty, because of the infected invasion led by Reunion, she help out the LGD to fend off Reunion and Yeti squadron at Lungman. But not only the good thing, she apparently worked together with the Shadow Guards to facilitate the infected killings in the sewer, because the Reunion member had blend in with the infected in the slums. Beside, the people of Lungman fear the infected more than anything. So they thought it will be okay to cleanse them at the sewer. Sounds like a bad character, but actually she has her own mind why it needs to be done. So whether she is bad or not, it's up to you to decide. But overall, she is an interesting character to have. Not to mention her illustrator is Lee Duke. The artist also tend to include her in some official artwork for Arknights. So it might be a hint that she will become playable. But hey, this is just my guess. Right now, I'm not sure with her ability, if she ever become playable. But if a man can dream, I guess a vanguard like Myrtle and Elysium won't hurt. 
especially the 6 star version. Ludmilla, also known as Crown Slayer, is one of the enemy boss in Arknights. She is one of the reunion squad leader, her specialty are infiltration and assassination. Crown Slayer can create a thick cloud of mist that can obscure her enemies. But of course in the actual gameplay, she can't do that. And end up getting bullied by specialist operator. But then again. Even in the storyline she's still getting bullied by a specialist, and a harm assist. Poor Crown Slayer. Well, long story short. At the end of chapter 8, she bids farewell to her former reunion member. And heads back to Syracuse to become stronger. And also treat her specialist operator PTSD. Although she is not in Rhodes Island. But the fact that Kelsey knew Crown Slayer since she was a child. And also the one who made Crown Slayer change. Maybe Kelsey will invite her to Rhodes Island or something. And hey, we still don't have any Syracuse side story. So it's a good chance for Crown Slayer to appear and become playable. If that side story ever comes out. It might sound ironic, but I guess the specialist will suit her as playable character. Maybe a fast redeploy, or specialist like Jay will suit her. With the talent or skills that can gain camouflage to her, or surrounding ally. Tallulah, if you don't know her. Just how many dialogue you skipped so far. She was the leader of reunion movement. And the main antagonist of Ark Knights until chapter 8. You can check more about reunion and Tallulah in this video. But for now, let's just say she was possessed by a certain old man. Completely changed to Lula mindset and approach. And then making reunion into a more brutal group. But at the end of chapter 8, she finally regained control of her body. And now Tallulah held captive in Rhodes Island. Now, I know what you're thinking. Why would Rhodes Island, recruit the enemy boss to become their operator? That's a very controversial subject to take on. Just imagine working together with a person who kills your friend. But hey, anything is possible. Besides, we always welcome another dragon waifu on board. And if she become playable, I think she will become a 6 star arts guard. That claim more of her, will be awesome to partner with Serta. Emperor, is a famous hip-hop artist in terror. And also the founder and owner of Penguin Logistic. He is a very famous person, and actually gaining rap god title in Colombia. Wow, I wonder what if he had a rap battle with rap god of Rhodes Island. He appear or at least mentioned in many side story. Like Code of Brawl, Heart of Surging Flame, and Gavil the Great Chief Returns. There are so many mysteries surrounding Emperor. Most notably about the rumor that he is immortal. He survived many assassinations and lethal scenarios. Even in Code of Brawl event, he was stabbed by the Rat King. But still managed to survive. Technically speaking, he actually become a playable character. Back in the Ark Knight special event for April Fools. You can control Emperor in a mini game. Where he literally roast his enemies, with his epic rap. He also appear in Ark Knight's special first anniversary animation. Where he was voiced by a famous voice actor. Besides Santala, I think Emperor is the most likely to become playable. Because Rhodes Island tend to use Penguin Logistic service. And they also have liaison from Penguin Logistic. If Emperor become playable character, a sniper will definitely suit him. Because well, he has a pistol. Although he actually pretty good in melee combat. And forget about 6 star, we need a 7 star exclusively for this rap god. That should be all. Aren't those NPC interesting? Who do you want to become playable character first in Arknights? 
And if somehow Hypergriff staff watching this, please make our dream come true. And make that claim all button ASAP. Or else. You know the rules, and so do I. Say goodbye.